Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a great tool that I found recently called Chat Avatar. It's a great tool to create base meshes and to get you started with working with your own unique characters. Very easy to use. They are also sponsoring this channel. So thanks a lot to Hyperhuman and Chat Avatar for sponsoring today's video. Uh, there's going to be some coupons down below. The first 99 users that do this, you're going to get 10 free credits when you signed up. So usually you get free credits when you sign up so you can test chat avatar, but you're also going to get 10 free credits on top of that for the first 99 users. So the coupon is down in the description below and um, let's get started. Now, what is chat avatar? Chat avatar is a gen AI tool that will allow you to create uh, faces with bodies and AR kit that are either from pictures that you provided or from prompts. And you're going to see how everything is so easy to use. All right, here in the website, uh, link is in the description down below. As you can see, I have some credits. You have to have an account with this website so you can use this application. Uh, it's going to give you some free credits. Uh, as we talked about in the beginning, there's something special for you guys here today. Now, if you look at feature, there are several here that are already created from people that you can uh, click on and take a look at and see what they used, like if they use a picture and you can see the results and what they got. Uh, it's pretty neat that you can see what other people are making too. Uh, here is a cartoon one, which we're going to talk about cartoon later on this was actually generated with prompts with it's another way of generating your character now let's try with pictures and let's try with something realistic if, you, if i go into my folder i do have my face which is this one right here my face has what they told me was the most optimal thing is to take some pictures with the least uh, amount of shadows possible. So I just went outside, took some pictures of myself. I think it got my face pretty spot on. It actually gave me a little bit of eyebrows here and there. And this um, shadow, because I forgot to shave that morning. However, this, this is an optimal scenario. Like you can take the pictures or somebody can get you some pictures. Let's try with pictures that we found on the internet. And for that, I'm going to be using uh, some pictures of Michael Fassbender as David. This is one of my favorite characters in movies. I don't care what people say about Prometheus and Alien Covenant. I think those movies are great. And I like his character a lot in those movies. So we're going to uh, be using his likeness to test this part. I'm just going to open them all. You can have as many pictures as you want. However, the more pictures that you have, the longer it's going to take to generate. And there's a little thing that we're going to take a look at in a second once you get all those pictures in there. So right now it's generating here. If you took the pictures, you can actually select what kind of shot you did. There's a custom one. I'm not sure what they use for these particular pictures, so I'm just going to leave it at medium shot. And apparently it had a little bit of trouble with one of the pictures, so it just gave me these three. However, as you can see, it actually narrowed down to where the face is. So even if you have a picture like the ones I have here, as you can see, all the pictures that I have have a little bit of shoulder, etc. It actually focus on his face. So I'm actually going to go for this one. And this is a nice tool that they have here. You can actually tell the AI which of the pictures you want it to focus more on. And uh, it will, I guess it will use the other ones as a bit of reference, but it will focus on the picture that you give more weight to. So this one's the blue one. I think this one is the one where you can see more of the definition of his face. Uh, I actually thought thought this one would be good, but I think it's way too flat. So let's see what it comes out with this one. And if not, we can always regenerate and we can just change this around. So I'm just going to hit generate. This might take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause it here and I'll be right back. All right. So these two pictures are kind of similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to regenerate and see if I can uh, get the cheekbones a little bit more defined. So we go to regenerate, you click OK, and it's going to bring you back over here to the place where you have your pictures. Now over here you have a little prompt that you can add or uh, subtract if you want. 
I think this one's spot on, so I'm just not going to uh, change that. I am, however, going to tell it to use more of the orange picture and see what comes up. Okay, actually been playing a little bit with some um, of the settings. And I think this one is pretty close to the original one. So if you guys want to see, I'm just going to regenerate so you can see what it happened. Um, I chose detail shot, which if you hover over here, it says perfect for close up selfies and near distance photography, which not these two, but this one in particular, it is. All right. I just wanted to show you that I'm going to hit generate one more time and we're going to continue on with the process. Okay. We're back at our generated image and we need to pack it. So we click on pack now. Uh, you're going to see that we have 4k and 8k, of course, 4k, it's a little bit more credits so i'm just going to continue with 2k but you can choose 4k and in here you have default and metahuman so default it's going to give you a full body and it's also going to rig it for you it also has the blend shapes and all those goodies that you can bring into unreal and use the lifelink face app or any other type of ar uh, kit solution uh, like I've shown in the past on my channel and then use it for um, facial animation, which is pretty cool. Now, if you choose MetaHuman, the thing with MetaHuman is it's not going to be rigged. However, it's going to give you MetaHuman topology. So those of you who follow my channel and know about MetaPipe and how I use it, you know how having something with MetaHuman topology is very important. The other thing about having Met MetaHuman topology is that it's going to give you the texture that you see right here, which I think is pretty good, uh, right as a MetaHuman UVs. That means you don't have to do any crazy stuff in Photoshop like you see me doing in the past with other tools because it already has a texture for you to use in the MetaHuman topology. So for this one, I'm going to keep as a MetaHuman. I'm going to hit pay. And if I go here, you can see that it says payment successful and I can view it later. It says estimated waiting time is 10 minutes uh, for me. In my experience, it has usually been around five to six minutes. It's never reached 10 minutes, but it will send you an email. The email that you signed up with, it will send you an email to your account and tell you when this is ready. So you don't have to stay here waiting for the 10 minutes. OK, this one was surprisingly fast. That was actually like two minutes. And now all I have to do is hit download. You can see over here that you have certain icons for plugins, which we are going to be using the Unreal plugin, but you do have some for uh, Maya, Blender and Unity. There's also Cocos Engine if you use that, but uh, we're just going to focus on Unreal. If you click on the Unreal icon, it's going to take you to the marketplace uh, where you can actually just get the uh, the plugin. And this works like any other plugin that we use on Unreal Engine. You click add to card, uh, get it. This this is a free plugin, of course, and it will show up on your launcher. We'll talk about how to activate it later. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this because you are going to need to download this for, in order to use it with a plugin. All right. So as you can see, it can generate characters from pictures, I think, very well. Let's try to generate from text. All right, let's uh, I think this is uh, a little bit of a ridiculous prompt, but let's see what it does. And they have their own uh, kind of little assistant. So it says, let's start with the physical appearance. We have a tank character from Overwatch with Rachel. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, excellent. It's recommending me some props that may be related to this. So when it comes to these, there's the dream face is the realistic one. Uh, from what I've been told, the hero style, I think it's a little bit stylized and tunifies fully cartoon. Let's try a hero style. All right, it's done. What do you know? This this looks pretty good. I don't think this texture is uh, too useful because of I think it, it was trying to make a stylized beard and some eyebrows. I do think the detail around here is pretty good. But the the mesh that it gives you, I think this is pretty impressive. Okay, we already tried it out with a realistic 
portrait and we did it with a description now how about a stylized picture so let's try this one um, if you know, don't know who this is, this is Reinhardt from Overwatch, from that cinematic short. Alright, so let's see, 40 year old male, it's not anime, uh, it's really not Asian, but it is white. Let's just generate and see what happens. Alright, it has finished generating, and I would say I'm super impressed with this. I mean, look at it. It's almost like it it even got the accident that reinhardt had in the eye of course he his eyes is pretty much close here but look at this it captured the expression even something as stylized as this it got it right this this blows me away because it is a very unusual shape and it's also very unusual angle to get a picture from even if I was using um, the other Blender app that I showed in a video before to the one that allows you to also create a base mesh from pictures, I don't think it would have gotten this close. And what we're going to do for this one, I'm actually going to pack it as a full rig character so you guys can see the difference between that and the metahuman. Uh, so all you have to do is go here, next, default. And because you choose default, you're going to see that now you get different options, unlike the metahuman one where you don't have all these options. So I'm just going to click rig body, male, gives you something where you can choose the height and the weight. I'm just going to leave it at medium to see what it guesses. I need eyes and teeth, expression and blend shape, so the AR kit works. And of course, I need back head textures. So I'm just going to hit pay. And again, just like the metahuman one, I just need to wait a little bit. And when it's ready, I can download it and we'll use the plugin to bring it into Unreal. All right, here we are in Unreal Engine and the uh, plugin for Unreal Engine. It just installs like every other plugin that I've shown over and over and over. Pretty easy. Just install and install to engine. So we're going to go to the plugins and make sure that our plugin is on. As you can see, chat avatar plugin, it's on. If you don't have it on, just check on it and restart your engine as usual. Now over here, we're going to go to Windows. And this is usually when you find your plugins. You can see I have the Perception Neuron, which is the motion capture one. And you can see the chat avatar plugin. So if we click on this, it's going to pop up a window for chat avatar. Now the way that this works is you have to have downloaded your character from the website. It's going to give you a zip file. So that's what you're going to be using with this plugin. We click on import. And as you can see, I have uh, various other packs. Uh, I have the David one, which I already have here on the scene. And let's import the Reinhardt one, which is the one that comes with everything rigged. I'm going to click open. And as you can see, it's telling me here, we want 2K, default, next. Now we want absolutely everything that comes in the pack that we told it we want. Click on next. And um, we want to prepare it for live link face, which is the AR kit that we always use with the iPhone. I'm going to click here. And as you can see, it says, please ensure that you have enabled these plugins, which if you have a metahuman on scene, you will always have um, these plugins turned on. If not, then you can see here which ones they are. Just type the name of the plugin section and just make sure that they're on. Click confirm. Okay, it's done. And uh, I already have that folder, but you should get a folder called chat avatar. Just go into that folder and you should see the character that you've imported. I already had a character imported, but let's go into this one, which is the one we just got. And as you can see, it gives you everything you need for Unreal, which is the skeletal mesh that comes with the physics and skeleton. It gives you the maps already set up and the textures in case you want to make any changes. Now let's go and throw him over here. Now, one thing that we need to do is we need to give this character uh, some materials. And we're going to, the way that you figure out what material is what, is usually you can either highlight here or if I get this to show, you can see that they've uh, named everything here for your convenience. So you already know where everything goes. 
Now let's throw face into face. Let's throw back into back of the head. Now we don't have a body in this case, um, but let's keep on going down. Now for the teeth and everything else, I've uh, the first time that I tested this, I found that you can use the metahuman stuff. So I do have a metahuman here. So for teeth, we're going to use the metahuman teeth. And we're using uh, materials, we're not using anything different. And we have the eyes, so let's just go to the eyes. And another thing you can do with chat avatar is you can use grooms. So if you saw the metahuman one that I have for the Michael Fassbender avatar, you're going to see that I'm using metahuman grooms. Actually, you can see uh, this. This is pretty much the regular metahuman grooms. I have eyebrows, I have eyelashes, I have peach fuzz. Everything from metahuman works on these guys, too. So as you can see, right out of the box, just throwing some things in there, this guy looks pretty good. And you could work probably in Substance Painter and get even a more painterly style kind of texture if you wanted to. Uh, same with the eyes, or you can just leave it at that. I think the way it looks right now, it, it actually looks very good. So let's try, let me add a camera here. And what we're going to do is we are going to do the AR kit. Now for the AR kit to work, you are going to create a animation blueprint. In case you haven't seen my other videos on animation blueprints, I'm going to do one real quick. So just like you see, right click on your skeleton, create animation blueprint. And we're just going to right click here, life link. Pose. And we're just going to connect that here. The other thing we need to do is turn on our iPhones, which I'm doing right now. And I think it should already be in there. There, there it is, my iPhone. If I click here and compile, you can see that uh, he's not doing anything. Because there is a bug that I don't understand in Unreal where you have to like restart things. So now you can see that I'm actually doing things. So... Pretty cool. Awesome. Over here and select animation blueprint. One we just made. It's this one right here. And it's not doing anything because we need to add a live link. And there you go. We have a character, a functioning character with everything that comes with a metahuman and it has a rig. I think this is pretty cool and it actually took us no time like from what I usually do and you can see there's something in the teeth and let's fix the teeth real quick and this is because there's something that needs to go there so the way that we can do that if we don't have a specific material for something I just like to create a hide material go here into mask hold number one click and put this into opacity mask save and we just throw it in here. Save our character. And as you can see, that little problem just went out. And you can see this, this guy works well. It's perfect. And again, you can just um, work a little bit on the textures and make it your own. But this is a great base to start on. Now, let's look at the body rig. Okay, in order to test the weight, I want to create a sequence. I'm going to call it chat avatar test. I'm going to throw in the character. And as you can see, we don't have like control rigs or anything. But if you've been in the channel for a while, you know that I do have a video showing how to edit animations when you don't have control rig. That's precisely what I'm going to do here. You click on edit with FK control rig. Click create. And as you can see, you can see the bones here and you can grab the bones and you can actually animate your character here if you wanted to. 
So I'm just testing the weights, making sure that everything is fine. And as you can see, it's perfect. Got pretty good weights to it. I'd say a little bit better than Mixamo, which I'm pretty sure you can take this character into the Mixamo thing and get some animations for it. So you don't have to retarget. By the way, your plugin usually should be here as well. So if you click this, you should get the plugin window as well. I'm just going to click on import and I'm going to click on this one. And this 2K MetaHuman, because these are the settings that I selected when I created it. Click on next. Um, that one takes a lot less time because uh, it's not a full on rig. Here is what you get. Now, the way that you can use this is you can actually use this with MetaHuman Creator uh, in Mesh to MetaHuman if you want to do it that way. So if you wanted to rig that, it's actually pretty easy. Just bring it into uh, Mesh to MetaHuman and you got your unique rig into what you made with chat avatar. Now we can throw in here and yeah, just like I mentioned, you can just use this sculpt and bring it into Mesh to MetaHuman and then just do the whole Mesh to MetaHuman process with MetaHuman Creator and you get a rig face that is exactly to all those pictures that you gave chat avatar to make. So I'd say chat avatar is a great resource to get meshes for mesh to meta human. Now, the other way that you can use it is the way that I did it. And it's what I use for that uh, little short that you saw before this video. And it's this one. So this one is actually completely rigged. So we can take a look at the character. You can see that I also used MetaHuman Animator on it. So this is fully rigged. If you've watched my channel before, you've seen the process that I use to turn any mesh that I want into a custom MetaHuman and to get it rigged exactly like this. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember to leave a like and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. All the links for chat avatar are down in the description below. Also, remember the night first 99 users that sign up and use the coupon that's below. You're going to get 10 free credits on top of the free credits that you usually get for testing the app for free. Thanks uh, to chat avatar for sponsoring the video. I'll see you in the next one.